Hello, I'm Sister Lisa Peter, and I'm coming to you today on November the 29th, 2015, from Hazelwood, USA. And the topic of my devotional is, And the Oil Stayed. 2 Kings 4 and 6, in the King James Version. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Can you imagine having a whole bunch of these vessels and every time you put oil in them, more oil came? And she kept pouring out. She kept pouring out her oil into all these vessels. He had told her to go and borrow not a few from her neighbors and she brought as much as she could and she kept on pouring out and more and more oil came. Sometimes it seems like we have nothing to offer, but we need to be willing for God to take our nothing or our little bits and turn it into something, something great, something that he can use, something that's continual. Peter and John said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is looking for willing vessels that he can use. Mighty miracles come from our brokenness and submission. The whole world may seem to turn its back on us, and we may seem isolated, but the oil stayed. The Holy Ghost, the presence of God, it's ever with us. He promised he would never leave us nor forsake us. We are to be the light of the world, vessels of honor and not to dishonor. Acts 2 and 17, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. He's just looking for willing vessels to just keep on pouring out. Just keep on pouring out that Holy Ghost. Just keep on pouring it out over and over and over again. And not just a few, as many as the Lord our God shall call. He said, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Acts 2.38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That empties out our vessel. We repent and then we get cleansed. We're empty vessels then. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, that oil, for the promises unto you and to your children, that's some more vessels, and to all that are far off, more and more vessels, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. You know, I'm going to live the way He wants me to live. I'm going to give until there's just no more to give. I'm going to love, love, till there's just no more love. I can never outlove the Lord, can never outgive the Lord. You know, you just keep emptying yourselves, giving given to the kingdom and the Lord just keeps refilling you up just so you can give out more, more time, more energy, more of your substance. He just keeps on blessing and I praise him for that. I want to read that one verse one more time. 2 Kings 4 and 6. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. So you think revival, each one reach one. Everybody reach out and bring someone to the Lord. And, you know, he keeps on pouring out his Holy Ghost, just like I just illustrated with that little vessel there. And, you know, he said he he's not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. So let's keep on passing it around. Keep on telling people the good, good news that about the Holy Ghost that Jesus has given away. It's for me, it's for you, it's for your children and their children too. There's nothing my God cannot do. I love you all. You have a wonderful day. God bless you.